Well, hello, chaps and chapettes. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Abrakazam, a magic making game where you'll be casting spells and they'll be going on the other players, but they're trying to figure out what spell you've cast on them and then they will have their chance. If you haven't already seen my how to play this game video, there's a link up on the screen right now, but don't worry if you miss it, you can always catch the link at the end of the video. Most board games are magical because they create an air at the table of fun and enjoyment and puzzling and working together and working against each other, which is great. That's when you know a board game has done a good job. Also a good board game will actually make you do things that you're not actually conscious that you're doing. It's not actually telling you to do anything, it's actually just pushing you in the direction to do something. And Abrakazam has a little tad of that where you are open to suggestion and those suggestions are to perform spells with your magic wand. Now a previous title from Buzzy Games was Top Face which had players making faces at the other players so they could try and guess which face they were making from an array of cards on the table. Abrakazam has the same base idea but you're actually casting spells in mid-air. Where's the wand gone? It kind of ties into that Potter-esque thing which is very popular at the moment for some reason. So instead in this game you're not making faces, you're casting a spell with the magic wand and players will have to guess what spell you're casting by the actions of your magic wand. All kind of straightforward and clear so far. But the real fun comes from once a player has guessed the spell and they've called out the name in a very very strange language and not pronounced it correctly or just said that one there um, that's when the fun comes in because that spell has then been cast upon that player and then that player becomes the spell caster but there is one catch the spell that they guess correctly will have a well a consequence that's the thing that you're gonna have to do when you cast your spell in this case you're gonna have to stand like a star and cast your spell or you may be a unicorn and have to cast your spell or you may be a hedgehog and have to cast your spell and players will have to guess and this is where the laughter and fun comes in depending on the group that you're playing with playing with kids it's a blast playing with adults can not be so much of a blast but um, it depends how many drinks they had beforehand now every game is going to be slightly different depending on the group that you're playing with and also with the cards involved in the game. Unlike Top Face where you just sprawl out all the cards on the table, you're going to have a limited amount of cards to use in the game. There are four different spell types and in each game you're only going to be playing with two of those spell types and so there is like uh, some variance in each time that you play the game. Now, if you really enjoy party games and you really like acting like the fool, there are the red cards. And the red cards have these permanent effects, which mean that once you've been had this spell cast upon you, you're going to have to carry out this action marked on the card until you guess someone's spell correctly. Now, that could be one turn, two turns, five turns, ten turns. So, yeah, you could be scratching your shoulder because you've got itching powder on your whatever it is for, for many, many rounds or having a, a cheesy grid. But this game doesn't really work for the elderly because especially if they happen to draw the card which says okay you have to walk around on tiptoes because you're scared of mice you know your 90 year old granny is not going to want to do that although the kids will love doing that and there'd be wells of laughter from them as they they're constantly poking at each other and again depending on their age will depend on how loud they laugh even if you're not a fan of these types of games you can play this for 10 minutes because that's how long it takes that's the great thing about it it's very quick playing you'll zip through the spells in no time at all it has its own kind of like built-in timing mechanism once there are x amount of cards on the table the game will end and players will count up their scores depending on how many cards they collected which is nice, it's sweet. And also the speed of the game will cut down immensely every time someone discovers a spell, it's removed from the center of the table. So there's less and less spells on the table, which makes it a little bit easier to figure out this from that. Again, another nice feature is the spell card that you have is actually kind of like reversed on the actual spell itself. So when you're drawing this spell to the other players, it looks like that. Works really well. The art is cute. This magic wand is, you know, it's not a Harry Potter wand, but it's, it's nice. You know, kids will fight over this to the death, probably kill each other with it. The rule book works well and the insert is really, really kind of really nice and adorable. Although I don't know if these cards will last very long in here when you start shaking the box around. 
So technically this game is a very beautifully presented children's families party style game. As you can see, a very quick playing one, very kind of act out and be stupid kind of one. It comes with some very nice components, very nice artwork, a very good rule book which explains everything nicely. Um, technically this game is a 9 out of 10 on production. Again, people are not going to be so enamoured with the theme or the activity of being pushed into something um, to actually enjoy this a lot, but uh, it's still very good. And well presented. And for me, my board game geek rating is a 6 out of 10, which may not sound good, but what a 6 out of 10 means is it's okay and I'll play it if I'm in the mood. This is not a game that really kind of grabs me, it's not really the type of style of game that I like. Um, I, in my preference between Abrogazam and Top Face, I'd rather play Top Face because it seems a little bit of cleaner and natural, you know, I don't feel so forced into making a face. Whereas in this, I do feel a bit forced and getting on my knees and pretending I'm a mermaid. It is just a light family style game. Um, as I said, it's not one that's going to hit my table very, very often. But it is, as I said, well presented. It has an audience, those Potter-esque people that love everything potter styly. So yeah, this, this will probably end up in my daughter's collection. And speaking of my daughter, this is what she thinks. I broke a zap! I like this game, I like the way you play in and the wood of um, the baguette. The cards are pretty good made. When you play with people you're always laughing because it's, you have to... Uh, what is it? <laughs> I try with my family and we all laugh. Every time you guess one card you always get cursed and I find that funny because it's get more and more harder. It's a good game, I mean, I don't think they got something bad in that game. When I have a curse, it's to ha take the hand of somebody and keep it next to, and try to do a saw. Spell. Spell, sorry. But I like when you get a cur, a cur, a cur? A spell. A, sp <laughs> a spell or a curse, I like it because it's getting more harder, like I said. Well there you go, there's an 11 year old's opinion of the game. And to give you a general all around kind of score, you, if you combine my 9 with my 6, you're going to get a 7.5 out of 10. And that is what I think in my review on Abracazam. Have you played Abracazam? Have you played Top Face? Let me know what you think about those games in the comments below. And there you have it. I hope this video has pointed you in the right direction whether Abracazam is a game for you and your family. If you've liked this video, then please give it a like. If you know someone that might appreciate this game, share this video with them. And of course, if you want to check out everything that I've been doing in the board game world, go to boardgameseverybodyshould.com. Now, I'll say thank you very much. Ciao for now. And remember to please, please don't turn anyone to, to, to mucus or bogeys because I eat them. Just sitting at the table next to Felicia.